Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I cover missing persons, unsolved cases, crime news, and more. I have been frustrated and frustrated. I think frustrated is a, a word about the Summer Wells case lately. And the more and more the days go by, it just pisses me off even further. How did we go from, from a missing child Amber Alert to where we are right now? Right now, the search continues for Summer Wells, the missing five-year-old girl from Rogersville. And breaking news this afternoon, that endangered child alert now upgraded to an Amber Alert by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. You're watching News Channel 11 at noon. I'm Sydney Kessler. Five-year-old Summer Wells has not been seen since last night. Agents from both the TBI and the FBI are investigating along with local authorities. Wells is roughly three feet tall, weighing 40 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing gray pants and a pink shirt. Now she was reportedly last seen outside of her home in the area of Ben Hill Road and Beach Creek Road. Both crews have been searching on foot and with helicopters since last night. How did we go from a search for a sweet child for this sweet girl right here to what this case is right now? Because what this case has become for her parents it seems like it's a big freaking joke and it, it, it pisses me off because this is a child that disappeared over two years ago and you've got summer's army out here which I'm a part of and we care about what happened to little Summer Wells but then you've got uh, mom and dad out there Candace and Don Wells doing any and everything they can mostly on the YouTube streets as it's referred to to ask for money put out their cash apps any and everything but look for summer and whenever someone asks them to talk about summer well candace for sure will come on there and say well this is not about summer i, I beg to differ i beg to differ i don't care what the hell you do candace and i don't care what the hell don does what I care about is a sweet five-year-old at the time who was five years old and she disappeared. And we don't know where it happened to her. We don't know where she is, what happened to her. That's what I care about. I could care less about all their drama and whether they are drinking all the time, doing drugs, whatever they're doing. I do care, though, the fact that it, that it affects their children. Because I think a lot of that has to do with what happened to little Summer. And thank the Lord, there are three boys. It seems like later this week, I believe Thursday, if I have the, if I have the day correct, they are due back in court to hopefully finally lose any and all rights to their boys. And of course, Don has gone on and on throughout YouTube complaining about how oh I can't offer them all these things like but playing little league and what have you because that's just you know that's for rich people no Don that's for people who actually care about their children and where they have been they have had three meals a day they've had they've been loved and cared for they've had clothes on their backs they've probably been to the doctor on a regular basis for checkups they've been to the dentist and we know from the photos that Summer probably never went to the dentist. And I'm sure the boys, if they ever went, maybe it was once or twice in their entire life. And they are well cared for. They get haircuts. Their, their health, I'm sure, is excellent right now. 
And when they lived on Ben Hill Road, well, that just wasn't the case, was it? And it just makes me sick that this has become a circus, literally a circus for Don and Candace. Now, I'm going to warn you guys because when I play some of these clips, there's a lot of language and for me to bleep it out, well, <laughs> that's going to be near, darn near impossible because uh, pretty much every other word that comes out of Don and Candace's mouth is an F-bomb or some other word that should not be spoken around uh, children at the very least. But it just, I don't know, I've had enough of it, guys. I really do. And, and I do believe behind the scenes that I have to believe and I pray, I pray all the time that TBI and all these investigators are doing something to bring justice forth for Little Summer Wells. So this is the real Candace Bly Wells. Okay, everyone who believes she's a loving, caring person, well, listen to this. And again, be aware, there is lots of language. Just beware. Why Man, she... shut your mouth, you little you bitch. Shut you shut up. Would Make me hot. Make me cut. Make me bitch. Make me shut the heart. fuck up. You shut up. Make me, bitch. Shut up. You make me. Welcome to my house. Yeah. Where's your daughter at, Candace? That's all I want to know. Where's really? What'd you, what'd you do with her? What'd you do with her, Smiley? So this is on the Cow Channel the other day. And this is being instigated against another creator known as Smiley. She came up and... They attacked her, and it's horrific. It is horrific. And as we can see, as soon as Candace has the chance, she's calling people all kinds of names. And, man, it's like, you know, you couldn't have enough soap to clean out Candace's mouth right now. And then when Smiley asks, where's your daughter Summer? Candace throws it back in her face saying, well, where is she? No, Candace, where is your daughter? Where is your daughter? This is something she's refused to answer for over two years. Now I took Summer. Now I took no, Summer. No, I said it's not about Summer, Smiley. Oh, no, it's not about Summer, Miss Daisy. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? No, what? Do no, it's a And that's another thing. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not about Summer on these crap channels, folks. These people who let Candace and Don come on, particularly Candace, okay? They let them come on and go on and on and on about, woe is me, I don't have any money, I need to do this, I got this problem, I got a black guy, what have you. Okay, first of all, if she's seriously being beaten by Don or any man, she needs to go to the police, okay? As much as I don't like Candace Bly, personally, if she's seriously dealing with DV, she needs to have that addressed. And anyone who's being abused in that way, please go for help. Seriously. I mean, that's the first thing that needs to be taken care of. Beyond that, she comes online. She's always got some sort of an issue. She's got something to do with her pacemaker, she's got a heart problem, she's got something to do where she can't walk, uh, she can't work, whatever. Candace has so many excuses. I mean, the amount of hours she's probably actually worked in her life, you could probably count them on your two hands and two feet. And that's, that's being generous. About you acting like a dumbass bitch, and I'm sorry, but you're not gonna call TDI and FBI on my fucking husband because I got a black eye, you dumb bitch. Fat red panty son of a bitch. Where is Summer? You where is she? You ought to you you ought to know. 
I didn't even know You that. ought to know you run your mouth 24-7. I sure do, and I will continue to because y'all... You run your mouth because you're a loser and you ain't got no content. So that's why you fucking run Daisy's Live because you ain't got shit, bitch. Make me stop. Make me stop. Well, Bitch, I ain't got to make you stop. You ain't I worth the fucking... Know. You ain't worth the ground I walk on, bitch. Yeah, because, Candace, it's not all about the content for you, is it? It's not all about getting your mug out there. And and I'm refusing to add that you word there. Y'all can add it in there if you like. It's all about getting your face out there and you wanting to get whatever you want. You know, whether it's playing games down the street when you do when you were playing coin pusher and then begging for people to give you money because you spent all the money for the dog food and oh I need to go back to Ben Hill Road please people give me some money so I can drive I need gas money I need food money bull crap Candace bull crap and yes Smiley was telling you if you legitimately are being DV'd by Don. Yeah, the cops should be called. Period. And there, to me, there's no excuse for that. And Daisy is supposedly a nurse. Uh, and she, if that's the case, she freaking knows better. She knows better. And a potential victim of violence, that needs to be reported. And she's actually a mandated reporter uh, of that if she is a medical professional. You can't, you can't, white boy sitting up there on his channel cannot make me stop. Daisy cannot uh, make me well, stop, uh, Candace. Well, maybe a restraining order. You're going to run your dick liquor all the time. You ain't got nothing better to do. You ain't got no content, bitch. That's why you run your dick liquor. And let me tell you something. You know what? Let me tell you something. I, I, you're not okay, even with you the girl that you walk on because you really, you are you, fucking goddamn you know what? Eight. You know what? I you're bitch. You know what, bitch? Listen here. Damn dollar store, bitch. And I don't fuck her. The goddamn Daisy. The dollar store. Don't fuck with me, Miss Daisy. I cannot talk to her right now. I cannot because you know why I can't talk to her right now. Oh, because you know I'm right, bitch. Would you all just leave these people? Do you know why I cannot talk to her right now? Because you a skank? No, because I've tried to call you, bitch, and I've tried to talk to you, and you don't want to. You ain't trying to call me, hooker. You ain't trying to call nobody. Shut up. Why, man? Shut your mouth, you little bitch. You shut up. When Make you me hot. Huh? Make me cut. Make me bitch. Candace, we need to wash your mouth out with some extra, extra sanitizing soap, honey, because that is one dirty mouth. And Smiley, again, you didn't have to deal with all this crap. And I appreciate that she is a part of Summer's army. Guess what? We're out here asking the question that a caring mother would be doing and it that is what happened to my daughter daisy and these other creators let's put that in air quotes they let candace have a platform to come on talk about whatever other crap she wants to talk about except they tell you nope it's not about summer Okay, so what is it about? Candace? I don't give a crap about Candace. I want to know what happened to Summer Wells. Period. And that's what anyone that is an advocate for victims, that's what we care about. We want to know what happened to little Summer Wells. And uh, let's move on to Don because he's got just as dirty of a mouth as his wife. So I guess they seem to be a match made in, well, something. I don't think it's heaven because definitely that's not the case. All right. Now this is the lab, Josh with the lab, and he does excellent, excellent work, you guys. He's put up with, gosh, I don't know how many calls with Don Wells. I don't know how he does it. Another great advocate, and he's out there trying to get answers and bring home summer 
All right, so he's so Don calls into the lab, and uh, again, prepare your ears and and what have you because the language is going to flow. Hang on, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> no, you haven't been nice though the whole time. You know, you've been talking all this crap, mm -hmm. but now that I'm live with you, say what you're gonna say, man. While I'm talking to you. Say what you're gonna say. Well, look, man. Uh, it's it's really Why are you gonna be nice now. All of a sudden. Wait a minute. Are, are we gonna talk? Or are you gonna no, talk over wait me? Wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. You or called you gonna... my show. No, you've been sitting here. You're the yes, one. Yes, it's my here show, Don. About me. you have no idea about. It. Yeah, it's your show. I don't even need to talk to you really because you know what? People know the truth. No, they don't. All the no, they don't. Well, stuff. let me. Can I ask you? Can I ask you a couple questions? You. You're a Chris McDonough wannabe. Whatever, whatever. So, those that don't know, Don hates Chris McDonough. I personally think Chris McDonough has done amazing work. He was out there early on. He was on the hill, and now Don and Candace despise Chris because he wants to help. He wants to find the truth. And that scares them. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's a compliment to Josh. That, you know, to be a Chris McDonough wannabe. And, of course, Josh has is, is, is got the thickest skin, that I, you know, out there. So, for sure. And it just comes down to Don calls in and... and and goes off, and he doesn't really want to talk about anything to do with Summer. Oh, that means, okay, well, then then you're a scumbag, not wannabe. Talk to me. About, I have yeah, a question you for is, you. Man. You know what? Let me, Whatever. Let, me, let me ask you a question, Don. No, let me ask you a question. Why do you idolize Chris McDonough? I don't so idolize like Chris McDonough. Your voice of prison. Well, probably because he didn't yeah, molest he kids when he was little. I like people like that. You like people that molest kids when they're little? Really? No, 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 no. That don't. Well, uh, then you got me fucked up, don't you? Yeah, I guess I do, but can I ask a question now? Yeah, you really do, man. Can you I ask off with that bullet. Can you I ask a question you. now? No. You. Oh, okay. Well, got me way off base, you should have read the Bible more, buddy. I love my children. I didn't say you didn't. I never said oh, you didn't. Man, you just gonna sit here and run your mouth. Yes, like Mr. Chris McDonough going after little fourteen-year-old little boys. What the f wrong with you? Bob? Yes, correct. That's What's a that's a good one. You? No, but you Mr. are an admitted Wannabe. one. You're an admitted no, one. You are. Now here is where Josh confronts him about his past. And for those who don't aren't aware, it can be triggering, and I'm going to give a trigger warning here. Don has admitted to activity as a people in his family and other children. So, again, trigger warning. No, you're an admitted. I was a little kid, and so were they. No, you weren't a little hey, kid. She was five years old, Don. Don, she was five years old. Office. You were how old? 12, 13? Yeah. How long did it go on for, Don? Yeah, I was I was a little kid. No, you weren't a little kid. You were a I teenager. Didn't know that. I mean, at least I admitted I, I admitted to my part. Good job. Congratulations. They don't want to admit to their part. She's five. I was a little kid. She was and five. I was 12. Yeah. Way hey, at older. least I'm man enough to admit my mistake. How does that make you a man? Admit your how does that make man, you a man? They don't make me a man. It makes me a man because I admit that I've made a mistake. Okay, but I wanna, they can't can I ask you about mistake. Summer? Neither can you. Can what ask, have you done? Can I ask bitch? you about Summer? What have you done in your life, you little bitch? Get it all out, Don. You. Get it out. You've made mistakes. Yeah, sure. You're not perfect. I'm not. You ain't nobody. No. You're not. Nope. You want to sit there and play like you're high and mighty? No, I don't. Like you've never done wrong? I would like to know really about your past. Have have at it. You ain't nobody either. Have at it. You you've made all kinds of mistakes, but you know what? You ain't man enough to admit one mistake you've ever made in your life, are you? Well, I'm. Okay, so he's turning it back on Josh, which I'm sorry, I paused it right there, 
because he actually has a very good comeback, and I'll back it up slightly on that one. The reason your past and Candace's past and all this garbage in your life, your criminal past and all this other garbage has come out is because you have a missing child, Don. As soon as that happens, your life goes under a microscope. And then, of course, there's the whole fact of you and your wife love that you guys love every second of going on to YouTube and all these other channels and going on and on and on to make a few dollars with your cash apps. So, yeah, every bit of your life is being examined. And I can't wait to see what TBI has on you guys. We have a lot of information at this point, but I can't wait to see what TBI has dug up. One mistake you've ever made in your life, are you? Well, I regret taking this phone call since you won't ask me or what, let me ask a question. Yeah, I bet you do because you're a little and you talk just like <laughs> in Trevor Lee. You're a fucking, you're, man, you're a fucking Chris McDonough yeah, wannabe. I am. That's you. true. Oh, then he brings up Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee is a friend of mine. He He's an amazing, one of the biggest advocates for summer wells and i've mentioned him before in previous videos he's donated thousands of dollars early on to the summer wells case to bring her home he he paused his college his pursuit of college education to help bring little summer home Trevor cares more about Summer Wells than Don seems to care about his own offspring. See, Don, all these people he keeps talking about, besides, of course, Josh, who he's on the phone with, Chris McDonough, Trevor Lee, all these other folks that he likes to name drop, it's called I Am Jealous, and I don't like them because they are disrupting my life and... They aren't letting my missing child just kind of be dust under the rug. See, that's a problem for them. Because they had hoped that this would all eventually just fade away and no one would care. You guys were so wrong. You and Candace were beyond wrong. That's true. Okay, hey, Don, why did the dispatcher say that uh, Candace went for a walk and then she said she didn't go for a walk? Oh, he hung up. Well, that was a great phone call. Hilarious. Hilarious. Now, he does call back in. Because, you know, again, Don and Candace are attention whores. They love the attention, so... They just don't want to talk about the one thing that we all want to actually talk about, which is their daughter. Look, man, don't don't call and hang up. Let's have a conversation. No, you look, man. You look, man. Let's you ain't Bob. Let's have a conversation. You ain't Bob. You ain't Bob. You no, ain't I nothing. actually am here, Don. Oh uh, no, you this really is are my Bob. show. Yeah, it's your show. Why did Candace say that she was going for a walk Why to dispatch? Man, because that was a miscommunication. How is man, that how a miscommunication? Okay. But, but how is that a miscommunication? Man, because, because dispatch, oh, you're not listening. Yeah, yeah. You want me to explain something, but you can't shut your mouth for five damn minutes. Because dispatch had a miscommunication. They didn't understand everything. Candace ain't walking down this hill to go for a walk for nobody except for to look for her daughter, number one. And when she did go look for her daughter, she drove her mama's truck. You there? Yeah, I'm listening. You told me to shut my mouth. I'm, I'm listening. Okay, well, I'm telling you, and I've told it a million times, how many times i got to tell the same story over and over and over Nobody can hear. Okay, so you're saying that it was a miscommunication, that, that the dispatch lady's wrong, that Candace said that she went for a walk, I came back. She was wrong. I never said she was wrong. I never said she was wrong. So you're not listening again. I said it was a miscommunication. It happened. Yeah, because we, the 911 operator, 
law enforcement, the media, Summer's Army. We all don't understand because, because it's all a bunch of crap. Come on, Don. Your dear wife never, Candace Wells never, never looked for Summer. She never left Ben Hill Road to look for Summer. I don't believe it that she ever did a thing. It happens all the time. Well, what about the time discrepancy? There is no time discrepancy. Well, there is because the, the 911 the call was at 634. No, there's not. Yes, there was, Don. And, no, there's not. Don. No, you're wrong. No, I'm not. You're wrong. See, again, again, you're not listening. I tell, I'm trying to tell you all the truth, but you all want to stir up a bunch of crap like Mr. Chris McDonough want to be one. Okay, this isn't like. about this isn't about Chris McDonough and your axe to grind with him. Okay, this isn't about him. This is oh I'm, no, but, but, this is between you, you and I. Okay, man, I've been your friend before, and I've talked to you many you, times you, in yeah. the middle of the night, going through all this trauma and everything else, and now all of a sudden you want to act like there's something going on. Whoa, and all this crazy stuff. The fact of it is, is our little girl is missing. And y'all want to act like, you know... Don, you and I have done never been friends. Serious. Don't. What are you talking about? You know what? Okay, okay, then we have never been friends. But you want to act like you're my friend. No, I and don't. talk to me throughout the time. Set me up and make me look stupid. No, I don't do that. Don, I think you make yourself look stupid, in all fairness. Come on. In all fairness, it doesn't take anyone else to make you look stupid. You do that all on your own. You, you know, you that. have the same M.O. as Chris McDonough. Why do you Chris, keep bringing Mr. up Chris McDonough? Because you just like him. No, I'm not. He come in here and act like he was our best friend. Because, y'all. Don is obsessed with Chris McDonough. He is obsessed with him. I swear, every time he comes on the lab or anywhere else, all he talks about is Chris McDonough. Chris McDonough. I've never seen a man more obsessed with a man who's trying to help find his missing child that he supposedly hates. Say you're going to help us find our daughter and everything else. And we turn to you people to help us find our daughter. And then you turn around and stab it in our bag just for content and click some views. Who's sicker in this, in this situation? Uh, you and Candace. No, you. No, I, uh, okay. You are. Well, whatever you friend. think. Whatever you think, Don. Yeah, I, that's what I think. Yeah, okay. you're damn right, and I'm sticking with that. Well, that's good. Because it's about your show and you. It's not even about my dog. I know, it's not. You don't not, give no. a damn about my dog. No, it's not. Yeah, you're and right, Chris I don't. I never give a damn about my dog. You're right. If that's really how you yeah, feel. Yeah, you're damn right, I'm that, right. If that's, I know. Don, if that's really how you feel, that's a shame. Because exactly everybody here, listen. Let, let me say something to you. Everybody's Boy, panel that you, everybody's panel, Don. Every pet buddy's panel Hello. that you go on to, they kiss your ass because they think you're going to say something and tell them where summer Just is. Just like you. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I kissing your yeah, ass yeah. right now, Don? No, not right now, but you have in the past. I so never have. Everybody remember that knows. time? Do you remember that conversation you had where you called me the N-word 30 times screaming at me? The last conversation that we ever had, Don. Do you really think? Man, I can't help it if you, I can't help it if you act like a I can't help that. Mm. That's not my fault. Are you drinking tonight? No, are you? No, I haven't. No. I might have Doing to after drugs? this. What the hell's wrong with you? No. We've never had a conversation like this before, but since you're live, you want to act all crazy. No, I, I'm not acting crazy at all. Yeah, but when, you know what, when we talk one-on-one -on -one, privately on the phone, when you're secretly recording my calls and crap, and then playing it later on, man, be real, man. We're live right now. Why are you acting all crazy now? I'm not, I, I, do I, am I acting crazy? Uh, 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 whatever, dude. Am I acting crazy? Man, and, you're a total different person when we're talking privately. So no, 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 privately, no, no, no. Do you remember that last conversation we had? 
Do you remember that last Man, conversation we had I can give a damn less you where you, you screamed at me and I said, if I'm you want to know, you right now. I, if I said, I said, if you want to know where your daughter is, go ask your wife. Man, I do want to, man, go don't ask, even go there. Then go bitch. ask Candace. She's such a little bitch. Because she knows, and bitch. you know no, she knows where she is. She knows where she is. You liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Bingo. Ask Candace because she knows exactly where Summer is. Josh hits it right, hits that nail right on the head. And I'm going to include a link to this in his channel because I love the lab, you guys. It, it, again, another amazing advocate for Summer. And the only reason he talks to Don is because he wants to find out the truth. Don doesn't give a crap about the truth and obviously Candace doesn't want anyone else to know the truth either. It's I'm sick of it not being about this girl right here. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Candace, where is your daughter? Where is Summer, Candace? Where is Summer? You know exactly what happened to her that day. And you're refusing to cooperate with anyone. And I'm hearing that they're asking for DNA from you and Don right now, Candace. I, I would assume they've already had it. At least definitely Don. But the walls, the walls are closing in on you both. The walls are closing in on and justice is coming for this sweet, precious girl. Justice is coming. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I pray every day for one day to be the day that Candace and Donna are arrested for what happened to Summer. One day, it's going to happen. I cannot wait for that day. I still, I would love to find it that, that Summer is alive and well somewhere. That would be amazingly great. Always. That's always the outcome I hope for in a missing case. You know, these missing kids especially. But the reality is, she's probably not. That said... I'm just over the crap, guys. I'm over it. And this has kind of been building up for a little while. As I've said before, Summer was my first case I covered here on the channel. And it's just she's near and dear to my heart. And I'm just sick and tired of the games. And it being all about money. And... It's just nothing, it's nothing's about this child to either, either one of these parents. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this one. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And most of all, stay safe.